dogfish head. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried a dogfish head. Uh, they're known for being really, really erratic as far as um, their choices in names and what they mix together. They mix and match some really weird pairings, but it comes out uh, pretty spot on every time. I don't think I've had one that I haven't liked, um, so this is one that I've never tried before, so I'm really anxious to try it. So, let's get it. Okay, Dogfish Head, Raisin d'Entrée. All right, it is a deep mahogany ale. Uh, it's brewed with, as it says, uh, Belgian beet sugars, green raisins, and a sense of purpose, um, as opposed to brewed without purpose, which doesn't make any sense, but uh, I guess if they're gonna be anti-nihilist, that's cool. Um, and for you big Lebowski fans out there, that was a Lebowski reference with the whole Nihilist thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you're just going to have to rent a movie. And that's a different blog entirely. This is all about beer. Okay, dear hearts. Uh, once again, we're going to do Dogfish Head. Um, this beer is out of Delaware. A little history about the name. Dogfish Head is actually uh, like a little island cove uh, over by a lighthouse up in Maine. The owner is actually from that area. Um, his wife is from Delaware, so when they moved to Delaware, because inevitably that's what happens when you fall in love and you get married, you uh, do whatever makes your wife happy. Right, dear? Right? Okay. Well, she's actually letting me do this. So uh, she's in the rest of the area right now doing laundry and doing things productive to society. And I'm, I'm uh, drinking beer. You got to go through strong suits, right? Anyway, okay. Um, so he's from Maine. Uh, that's a place from his childhood that he loved. He loved going out there. Uh, dogfish is actually, um, it's like, it's like a little shark. Um, and a lot of the fishermen up there were looking to get crab, looking to get some of the other ones. Inevitably, they come up with these crappy fish and they started calling them dogfish. Uh, so there's a little piece of history. Dogfish Head Beer is an actual place. It's not just a name thought up after eating a lot of mushrooms and doing acid and deciding to make crazy beer. Although that is one theory and it does hold a little bit of water based on their labels. So, once again, let's try this out, shall we? Awesome. Look at that. All right, that is beautiful. Nice foamy head to it. You're looking at about mm, maybe a finger and a finger and a half thick. Um, that's actually a really, really good thing. Um, like we've talked about in some of our other beer reviews, if a beer has a lot of head to it, it's good. Uh, if a keg has a lot of head to it, that's just a waste of money. Okay, if you're going to hold the spirit up to the light, you're going to notice it's got a beautiful color to it. A really nice amber color. Um, it's not really cloudy, so it means it's not really hoppy. Um, it is chock full of flavor. There's not a tons of bubbles in it. So all the flavor is basically just staying put. It's not flying around in there. It's set. It's ready to be drank. It's ready for a little taste -a Okay, cool kids. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just jump off into this and uh, have a little taste, shall we? Um, wow, damn. Okay, um, this is a strong, strong beer. Um, it's about 8%. Most beers, as far as alcohol goes, is around, I don't know, between, um, four and some change, sometimes up to five, five and some change. Um, whew, this could, uh, probably power a lawnmower. I mean, it is strong. Um, it's like taking a whiskey shot. 
I'm not complaining. Um, it's it's a good thing. These are just um, wow. These are going to get you there in a hurry. Um, as far as the taste goes, it has got a very complex taste. Once again, it, you can taste the raisins in there. Um, you can definitely taste the contrast with the, the sweet beet that is also in there as well. Um, and it's a mixture of malts, hops. Um, it's very, very malty. It's not very hoppy. It's not bitter like a pale ale. It's very malty. Um, and it's just a really cool contrast between uh, the raisin and the malt. It gives it a distinct flavor. It's tough to compare their beers to anything other than their beers. Uh, they don't really play well with others. Um, you could say, for instance, a Corona plays well with a Pacifico, or a Coors Light plays well with a Miller Light. Some of those contrasts, uh, and I know those are lagers. But as far as this goes, if you were to put this up against, um, uh, you know, a, a different pale ale, or or even an amber ale, or a lager, a black lager, one of those. It, it's almost in a category all in, a, in and of itself. It's been mixed and mashed. Um, it's along the lines of kind of like the hybrid wines where they take different grapes and they put them all together uh, and it comes up with these interesting tastes. That's pretty much what they did. This is kind of like a beer stew. Um, they took a lot of great elements, they threw it all into one beer, and the result is really, really good. Really good. Um, Wow, I, uh, if I hadn't eaten anything, I'd probably get a pretty sizable buzz just off this pint glass alone. I'll tell my wife. Um, I recommend this beer a lot. If you can find Dogfish Head uh, in any of the places that you go to, local stores, liquor stores, um, go for it. Uh, any, of their, any of their beers are good. I've just never personally tried this one. That's why I sought this one out. Um, their 60-minute IPAs, their 90-minute IPAs are great. Once again, I, I don't make a dime from Dogfish uh, for promoting any of this stuff. I just like beer. Um, well, I love beer, actually, and, and uh, after a few of these, I, I think beer would love me back. Uh, that's kind of weird. That's a little awkward. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's my show and my time, and I'm going to go with that. Anyway, uh, enough of my rambling and babbling. Um, this is a great beer. Try it. Anything from Dogfish here, try it. Uh, any other beers out there that you see, that you think is interesting, try it, leave a comment, let me know what you've tried, let me know some of your experiences. Um, hey, even let me know if you tried this beer and you absolutely hated it, and let me know why. You know, I I'm just one man with one opinion, who's right usually most of the time, but uh, one man with one opinion. So, try this beer, try all beers, let me know what you think. Till next time, guys, have a good night, or day, morning, you I'm gonna, it's already hitting me. How weird is that?